Hello, my name is Eve. I'm a 3D artist and illustrator. Today I'm going to teach you the basics of Blender's Grease Pencil. In this video, I'll cover the basic tools and techniques that you need for drawing in both 2D and 3D space. In my next video, which will be out shortly, we'll build on these skills by creating this cute Grease Pencil character. The second tutorial will dive into more advanced Grease Pencil tools and techniques. But for now, let's focus on getting a good grasp of the basics. Okay, let's get started. First, let's open up Blender. When you first open it up, you'll see this window. Today we'll be using this 2D animation preset that will set up a grease pencil object and some materials for us automatically. Click on it to start. Nice, now we're in the 2D animation window. Before we start working, let's just enable some shortcuts that will make our life easier. Go to Edit, Preferences, and then go into Key Map. Here you want to enable Tab for Pie menu, as well as Extra Shading Pie menu items. After that, go down here and save your preferences. Enabling these will allow you to access all of the editing modes by just pressing Tab. Okay, let's get started with Grease Pencil. This white area here is your canvas. If you scroll out, you can see the size of the canvas. Everything outside the border won't be visible in your camera. Let me just quickly tell you the 3D controls. You can use the middle mouse button to rotate around your scene. You zoom in and out with the wheel of your mouse. And finally, you can pan around your scene by pressing Shift middle mouse button. To get back to our 2D view, just press numpad 0. Okay, now I'll show you the tool basics. First, let's click on the draw tool here. This is a tool that you can use to freely draw grease pencil strokes. If I scribble on the canvas here, you can see what the tool looks like by default. So this here is our first grease pencil stroke. Strokes are made of points which control the shape of the stroke. We'll get into that a bit later. Now let me just show you how to use the draw tool. You can increase the strength of the brush from up here. Now if I draw, you can see that the line is darker. If you're using a tablet to draw, Use Pressure is enabled by default. The Use Pressure option gives you varying weight of your lines like this. If you want to disable that, just click this button here. This gives you even lines with no pressure variation. You can increase or decrease the size of your brush from Radius up here. Alternatively, you can also press F and move your mouse to quickly change the size of your brush. Now let me show you how you can stabilize your stroke. Go to this stroke menu here, then enable stabilize stroke. Decrease the radius and the factor. The lower the number, the less stabilization you have. I find that a lower value here works better for me, but just have a play around with the settings. You can see the difference with various settings here. Some just stabilize the stroke more, some less. Stabilize Stroke is very useful to use, especially if you're just drawing with a mouse. Next, let me show you the Fill tool. First, let's just draw a circle. After that, click on the Fill tool here to enable it. After that, click this menu up here to select a material. Select this Fill material. This Fill material has been created by Blender automatically because we chose the 2D animation view. Now, click inside the circle that fills the whole shape. The Fill tool works exactly the same as in any other drawing software. Next, let's use the eraser. You can find it here. When I'm erasing now, you can see that the eraser is nice and faded on the edges. If you want the eraser to not be faded like this, click on Point here. That erases points along your stroke and makes a harsh cut off. The final option here, Stroke, allows you to erase whole strokes with just one click. Now let me show you how you can edit your strokes after you've drawn them. You can edit grease pencil objects the exact same way you can edit regular 3D objects. Most shortcuts work the same. Press Tab and go into Edit Mode. Press 1 for point selection. Here you can grab individual points and move them around with G. This way, you can easily adjust the shape of the stroke. If you want to reposition a whole stroke, you can grab all of the points on it by drag selecting them. Then you can move the whole stroke with G, scale it up with S, or rotate it with R. 
You can also move individual points with a smooth fall off. To do that, select a point on your stroke. After that, enable proportional editing from this button or by pressing O. Now when you press G to move a point, the surrounding points will move with it. You can scroll up or down on your mouse to increase or decrease the area the proportional editing affects. This is an easy way to smoothly change the shape of your strokes. Here you can also adjust the shape of your stroke by going into Sculpt mode. Press Tab to go into Sculpt mode. You can use the grab brush here to adjust the shape of your strokes. In Sculpt mode you can also use these brushes to adjust the thickness of your stroke. I'm going to show Sculpt mode in more detail in my next video, but here I just wanted to mention it. Another thing you can do in edit mode is you can connect points. To do that, select the points that you want to connect. After that, press F. That creates a line between the two points. You can also extrude points by pressing E, just like you can with regular 3D objects. So by combining these shortcuts and tools, you have a lot of precision in how you can make your shapes. After you're done in edit mode, press tab and go back into draw mode. Here you can use all of your grease pencil drawing tools again. Now let's just delete these scribbles so we can start fresh. To delete everything, press tab and go into edit mode. Select everything by pressing A. Then press X and choose points to delete all the points. That's how you can quickly delete everything that you've drawn. Now we have a clean scene to work with. Next I'm going to explain how to use Grease Pencil in 3D Space. First let's just enable some settings so you can see what we're doing more clearly. Press Tab and go into Object Mode. With your Grease Pencil object selected, click on this button. Here you want to enable Canvas. That will show you your drawing plane. The orientation of this canvas can show you how your grease pencil strokes will appear in 3D space. Next, click on this button here and enable 3D cursor. This will be useful to us later. Okay, now let's quickly add a cube. I do this so you can more easily see how our strokes are positioned in 3D space in relation to the cube. Press Shift A and from Mesh, add a cube. Scale the cube down by pressing S so you can see the drawing plane. Move it up with G and Z so it's at the bottom line here. Now we can go back to draw mode. Select your grease pencil stroke object and press tab to go into draw mode. Now we can use the same tools that I showed you before. Click on the draw tool. Then from this menu, select the solid stroke material. Now we can draw in 3D space. How you do that is slightly different from how you do it in the flat view. How your strokes appear in 3D space depends on your stroke placement and drawing plane settings. I'll leave them on the default settings for now and then later we'll explore the different options. If I draw now you can see that my strokes are placed in the front view like they were before. Here the canvas shows you the orientation of the strokes. From this button you can change the orientation of the drawing plane. Let's choose side. Now the strokes appear on the side like this. If you choose top here, your strokes will be placed from the top. Here I'm just pressing Ctrl Z to undo all those strokes. You can also set the drawing plane to view. What that does is it places your strokes in 3D space based on where your camera is positioned. So as I rotate the camera and draw, that changes the placement of the strokes. Okay, now let's explore some stroke placement options. Stroke placement determines where your strokes originate from. The default setting here is Origin. In this option, strokes are placed at the Grease Pencil Object Origin. The stroke placement option I like to use most is 3D Cursor. Click on this menu here and then click on 3D Cursor to enable it. Then switch the drawing plane back to front. The reason I like to use the 3D cursor option most is because you can move the cursor. By moving it, you get a lot of control over where your strokes are placed exactly. Let me show you what I mean. Right now, if we draw, our strokes appear on the front plane like before. Their placement, however, is now dependent on the 3D cursor. So let me show you what you can do with this. Press tab and go into object mode. 
Select the cube and press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Press 1 for vertice selection. Select this vertice on the back here. Then press Shift S and choose Cursor to select it. Now your 3D cursor is on the back point here. Now press Tab and go into Object Mode. Select your grease pencil object and press Tab to go into Draw Mode. Here make sure that your stroke placement is set to 3D cursor. Now when you draw, all of your strokes come out of this point where the 3D cursor is. The 3D cursor option gives you control of exactly where you place your strokes. Here you can also set drawing plane to view. Okay, now let's delete all these points. Press tab and go into edit mode. Select everything with A. Press X and choose points to delete all the points. After that, press tab and go back into draw mode. Now we will look at the other stroke placement options. Next, let me show you the surface stroke placement. This option allows you to draw directly on 3D models. From the stroke placement menu, choose surface. Then switch the drawing plane back to front. Now if I draw, you can see that the strokes stick to the object. However, if you rotate to the side, you can see that the strokes are floating off. To fix that, you can adjust the offset value of the strokes. Here, you can decrease the value. Now when you draw, your strokes stick to the surface better. A quick note here, annoyingly, the offset value is affected by how zoomed in or out you are to your object. Let me show you what I mean. I zoom out now and I draw the same face. Now when I rotate, the second face is more offset than the first. This is because I was zoomed out. This is how Blender have set it up and personally I find it very unintuitive to use. But to get around that quirk, you just have to adjust your offset value depending on how zoomed in or out you are on your scene. It's not ideal, but it's an easy enough fix. Now let's just delete all these strokes again so I can show you the last stroke placement option. Press Tab and go into Edit Mode. Select everything with A, press X and choose Points to delete all the points. After that, press Tab and go back into Draw Mode. Go to the Stroke Placement menu again. Here the last option is Stroke. What Stroke allows you to do is to have your strokes connect to each other. So if I draw one stroke here and then I draw branches off of this first stroke, you can see that all of the branches are actually connected to the first one. Here I'm just pressing Ctrl Z to undo everything. So that is all the basics that you need to get started with Grease Pencil. You can now combine all these tools and techniques to draw in 2D space and 3D space. Let me just quickly do a demo of how I would use all of this combined. I reset my 3D cursor by pressing Shift S and choosing Cursor to World Origin. I set my stroke placement to 3D cursor and my drawing plane to top. That allows me to draw on the bottom of the cube. I draw some squiggles around the cube here. Then I switch the drawing plane to view. I rotate around my object and draw some more squiggles. After that, I switch the drawing plane to side. That allows me to place some strokes on the side here. Changing between views depending on your needs is really handy. Next, let's say I want to draw on the 3D model. I switch my stroke placement to surface and decrease the offset. Then I draw on top of the 3D object. Next, I want to draw something on the top corner of the box. To do that, I press Tab and go into Edit Mode. I select the corner vertice, press Shift S and choose Cursor to Selected to move the cursor here. Then I press Tab and go into Draw Mode. I switch my stroke placement to 3D Cursor and my drawing plane to View. Then I draw a little ribbon on the corner here. So yeah, that is it. By combining all of these modes, you can get a lot of controls over your stroke placement. And that is everything for this Grease Pencil Basics tutorial. I hope I've taught you all the basics you need to get started. I'm also working on another Grease Pencil video where I'll teach you how to make this 2D orange character in Grease Pencil. 
I'll also show you how to make a basic animation for him so you can get started with more advanced grease pencil techniques. So stay tuned for the next video. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel. I post Blender tutorials that help you get started on your 3D journey. If you want to see more from me, I also run a Patreon where I post exclusive 3D tutorials, as well as a behind the scenes look of my animation project, The Magical Adventures of Gizmo and Oz. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!